After resting a bit in the town, taking care of amenities, that kind of thing, you finally met Lady Liliane. And she invites you to the keep. Come, wander us. We can talk inside where there's food and warmth. Liliana turns on the spot and with long, slow strides, she closes the distance to the keep. Her honor guard keeps pace by her side. As she approaches the now darkened keep, the moon begins rising above it. Still shining a soft pink hue, the gates open without command and she marches through. I'm guessing you all follow. Yeah. She follows the hallway around the corner and leads you into a large hall, lit on either side by roaring fires. Outside of the statues of various knights and nobles, all in the winged garb of Caris Patraera, the hall is sparsely decorated. Let me pull out the map. map. Wow. I love doing this. What? <laughs> Who made that my name? What? <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, honestly, is that not what everyone thinks, though? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fine. Canonically, it's on her ass now. Are you really calling out your name? When have you seen Delarian's name? <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, fair point. Why is my name normal? Why? I feel like hasted, ba hasted barbarian go bah, should be deleted because it won't happen anymore. Oh yeah. Rip. So sad. Also, can we get your R for that sound? It's really fucking weird, Elliot. I'm not gonna lie. I've never heard anyone make that R sound. Like, it wasn't like bad. It was just really <laughs> odd. What the fuck? I feel like all Germans can do that. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's just a really weird R role that he did. It was just kind of surprising. You know, it's the one we basically do in our language, you know? It's just the normal R. Yeah. What the R? It's not. R or R. There's one's tongue, the other the barbarian go, Yeah, that one. That's so weird. What the fuck are you doing? Like, that's how we talk. That's how we pronounce B and R. I wear glasses. Ich habe eine Brille. Brille. Krass. Brille. Anyway. Get me freaking sidetracked over here. So Seminar doesn't follow? No. Okay. The ADHD is contagious. As you begin to follow, he sort of just slinks away. He doesn't even really say anything. Suspicious. That's size. Nice. She's beautiful. Maybe she does believe in the dreamer too. Did <laughs> <laughs> well, Larry say this out loud? No, of course not. Oh, dear. I was gonna like that, turn him like that. That, and that like, wouldn't be like him. In the middle, in the middle of this open hall, 
surrounded by chairs on either side is a massive oak table. And it's topped with plates filled to the brim with hot and still steaming food. The few elves standing inside the hall turn and bow as Lady Liliana enters. And as she walks around the table towards the far side of the room, a few servants help her doff her armor, making no further efforts towards any ceremony or nobility. She takes a seat, now clad only in an intricate gambeson. She opens her arms wide, gesturing at the table. Oh, please, take a seat and partake. Um, I'm gonna sit next to Draco, but like on the side closer to her. So our Draco, so Draco has a bigger seat for Basically, if she shoots at me, she's the rune's gonna get hit. You just put I mean, stuff hard, wherever basically. you want. I'll put you down. Is that okay, Sam? Okay. Yeah, hot news. Roll twenty is being a dick, so uh, I'm gonna need some help. Hot news. We're That's still play pretty double hot. Tricky. I don't know where. Wait, I don't know where Alvin. Pick your seat first, since I'm picking for two of us. I am unshocked. In the middle. You do? Would you like to sit in the middle? Is that what you said? No, well, if she's sitting there, she has, she has a really clear shot. I'll just take the one closest to... No, I'm going to put him between <laughs> Delirian and Rune. Betwixt. Betwixt. Just in case. Just in case. Uh, roll, yeah, roll 20 is being a dick today. I just updated someone's picture. Okay, oh, yeah, I'll sit in a line. Uh, I can oh, sit yeah. over here. Okay. Oh, I, fuck, beggar. I have a question to send you. It's not super important. Just read it at some point. Soon. Yes. Also, remind me, um, within this week, I have new art for you. Nice. I've, I've done a, a tiny little redesign. Is it our little one? Is it our and Rune Smoochin? Listen, not yet. Arid and Rune Smoochin is like sloppy French and <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what you know, it sounds like. Uh, Arid's, uh, maybe Arid's just not easy. You know what I mean? No one wants maybe, to sit with Tell. Oh, maybe you just gotta put some work into it. All right, uh, is this a challenge, Becker? <laughs> kind of quiet now, aren't you? Kind of seems like a challenge. This keep doesn't have much in terms of comfort, but whichever it has, they're yours. She gestures to the other elves in the room that are now taking seats. To her left, Lady Aldita. She uh, she usually holds the Tanafon. I'm only here at my brother's behest, and to my left is uh, Ethric Salianus, the one ensuring we have food on the table. He bows in your direction, one arm in front of his chest, and with a surprisingly soft voice, he answered, I manage some of the larger supply and trade routes around the Silver Shore. And the long-haired one, looking to her right, is the one keeping our blood from painting the street. A very capable healer in his own right, Vithethi de Lune, one of the dark and Seal Vasta houses. You've obviously met Captain Dalamon. I wager he needs no further introduction. Well, so far I've uh, heard the short version of the story, but <laughs> tell me, who are you? What are your names? What are the names of the first visitors that haven't come down to burn down the forest? Hi, I'm Harmony. Brown. He's gonna elbow Draco. Uh, hi. I'm Draco. 
Zularian. The whole table turns to face. <laughs> Kinda. Well. Just, I just kind of blanked. I'm sorry. Um, I'm Lara. By the way, Bega, who, who are there two Captain Dalamans? No, that's not. <laughs> another one sitting on the. <laughs> Where's the clone? Right, Imposter. <laughs> he teleports to the other side of the table <laughs> and looks at you, Delarian. Nothing personal, kid. The last <laughs> word you'll ever hear is. Okay. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. Hmm. Interesting, but who are you? What has brought you all the way here? The collapsing ground. Yeah, we just have kind of fell that into a part portal. of the story, but how did you get into such a situation in the first place? Uh, we were gathered to look for uh, signs that the godstone was back to causing trouble. And you all went out of the goodness of your heart? We are a higher group. I went because it was the right thing to do. And if the Godstone is causing trouble, it needs to be stopped. Rune, what is your passive perception? 15? Let me look. I think it's the best in the team. 15. Yeah, you hear like weird soft crunching behind you. What? <laughs> Excuse me? You you turn around for like a second just to check what, what's happening and you see just uh, Harmony <laughs> just grabbing into a char, hand oh completely God. wet and just munching on a giant pickle. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, have not seen, I forgot she had pickles because Rain didn't know she had pickles. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and ignore her and go back to the conversation. <laughs> and of course, there's nothing on your mind other than returning home. No. I can understand that. Well, my brother would probably admonish me for telling strangers about his little secrets he keeps even from our own in these times. And he takes like a wide look around the room at each of the guests. But there may be a way for you to return. We've made our own efforts to establish connection with other planes. But people are scared. And many believe that what lurks on the other planes cannot be better than the horrors that haunt our borders for years now. I do believe you. I believe your story is too convoluted to be some ploy. And I'm tired of all the distrust. Speaking the truth, maybe I've been waiting for an opportunity like this. Either way, we must set to find my brother, the root of Arda. Only re he really has the authority to make this happen. Please, uh, enjoy your meal. The uh, servants will show you to the guest wing of the keep to rest. If you'll excuse me, I must retire early. 
It seems I have some messages to prepare. And with that, Lady Liliana stands back up and begins briskly walking towards one of the staircases, leading further into the keep. Step by step, accompanied by her guards, one of the servants near the table struggles to quickly just collect the pieces of her armor and runs after her. And after Liliana has left, the rest of the guests question you about uh, details of the material plane, what exactly has happened in a time, who is in power, etc. If you want to ask them any questions, feel free. Kelsa is struggling with trying to stay, to not get noticed and be really obnoxiously impolite. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Why are you like me? <laughs> Someone asks you for like, hey, could you hand me that? And you just sort of <laughs> grunt at them. Punch them in the face. No, no, no <laughs> not like, where it's just like putting your feet on the table and be like, oh my god, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but she also wants to say hidden, so. You gotta pick one lane, babe. You can't, and you can't. <laughs> That's why I said she's struggling. <laughs> Rude, Just question. tiptoeing the line. How much of a dick can I be without being noticed too much? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, she starts like scratching oh. something at the table. I saw him on the other side of the table looks horrified at you. <laughs> As you carve the... Uh, into the very, very smooth and probably well built table. Yes. Is it a deck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew they'd come back eventually. Mm. And thus it begins again. Somewhere in the town of Fords, near the coast, near the docks. We see a family of elves, the father, a simple carpenter, shedding a single tear. <laughs> and we cut back to the fort. Carpenters everywhere have just detected a disturbance. Wait, uh, right. Well, I have Rune has questions, unless someone else wants to go, because Rune might have a lot of questions. I have literally no questions. I didn't yeah, prepare I anything. I, I'm just wondering why she would help us. We'll ask that. Well, she said she wants to uh, not be suspicious anymore or something. Yeah, but that's like famous yeah. last words. Why would someone just say, oh, I'm, I'm tired yeah, Maybe of this. it's a plot point <laughs> to keep us here. I swear to God, if we get locked up again on false murder charges. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm guessing that means no one else's questions. So now I'm going to take up the rest of the session asking questions. No. Also, that's a reason for her to, to tr maybe trust us, but that's still not a reason for her to help us. You know, she just trusts I our I words. Some, I just don't know why she would... how to word them. So I'm just yeah, Dolorian is just asking why would you help us? Well, she's gone. So. Yeah, to the other, so on the other still there. Why would she help us? The others, the other elves seem to think for a moment, but before any of them can open their mouths, Captain Dalamon speaks first. <sighs> Lady Liliana is uh, straightforward, so she abhors the power games that the roots play amongst themselves, even her own brother. I suppose that is why he took the leadership. Wait, recap, what, he, what was the last thing he said? That she doesn't like power games and that's why her brother took over? Yeah. 
That's why her brother is the root of Arda. That sounds silly. What a weird way to choose a leader. Wouldn't you want the honest one? Or the well, sometimes one? you need to be able to tiptoe a thin line. Liliana is the one who crashes through a stone wall instead of knocking on the door. Your qualities for what makes a good leader are so fucking weird here. She's a great leader in wartime. But that is why she's here in the Tana Fort. And not at the roots where her brother is. So if I could ask a maybe less pleasant question, what's this war you have going on? Well, in total, the war has been a little less than half a century. It started when uh, the Kalashtan turned, something dark in them. Most of the war was spent fighting them. It was uh, close to a war of attrition. Every victory we wrung from them was Pyrrhic. And every loss we took was great. We'd been slowly gaining control, but when the the fires arose, things changed and we are pretty much back where we started. The Kalashtar never told you anything? Why they would attack? There was never any negotiation. Did you never this manage to capture someone? Change. You underestimate these Kalashta. My apologies. But they fight little more than demons. To capture one alive, we've not been successful. Even without their lives. Whatever is bound to them lives on. We've not been able... We haven't been able to contain the threat. We haven't had the chances that you talk about. Negotiations seem out of the question. We barely even approached them before things go sideways. I figured Semedar would have told you more. He is the one who led the first scouting party towards the Kalashta. The first losses of the war, I suppose you could say. When did this all start? Look up the timeline. <laughs> it was pretty much uh, shortly after the uh, the sun turned red. So like eighty. So about when the the thing. Many got years ago. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? So about when the the planes got severed from each other. Yeah. Well. Curiously, not immediately after that, but the sun turned red, probably like 10, 20 years after the separation. What the fuck? That's weird. I'll look up the timeline later and put it in archives. It's somewhere in the script. All right, thanks, uh, man. Buried. Do you know what would have caused it? Excuse me. Do you know what would have uh, 
cause the Kalashtar to go all <laughs> crazy? Well, I mean, Samida is more of an expert on that. The suspicion uh, obviously lies with the sun. But mm. I personally do not see the connection. Yeah, Perhaps it, it is a thing that affected both. It's as simple as that, but... Yeah, makes sense if both things happened basically at the same time. Uh, careful, there's a difference between coincidence and correlation. I know, that's that's true. but that's but one thing... There's so many assumptions we can make. Yeah. I mean, there was that whole threat from another realm type bullshit that we found out about, maybe. Excuse me? Uh, it's... Uh, I've, wait, real quick. Were they familiar with the name Dural? They know of Dural. They were... Okay. Very aware of him. His war against... There was even deliberation whether or not the elves should, should join in the last stand of the humans. Okay, well. But uh, <clears throat> tell us all, maybe I know some more about that one. <laughs> oh, we will say we were uh, obviously on a trip to find out about the Godstone. We uh, encountered um, uh, the word factory doesn't exist, does it? Encountered a, a facility that produced. Um, soldiers of a kind for Dural before and a massive mechanical dragon may have told us that Dural was trying to plan for something, some kind of attack from another realm of some kind. It wasn't really clear, we only really had the head at the end of it, but uh, Dalamon looks like he wants to ask you something, but he seems just so confused. A uh, a dragon, a mechanical dragon, told you this. Why? Uh, probably because the kid reconstructed its head and asked it a bunch of questions. And you know, like elbow, uh, like gesture to not elbow, but, like gesture to Draco, like when he, like says the kid. You know, the, you reconstructed a dragon. Its head. A, a yep. mechanical dragon. <laughs> the head. Right. It wasn't so difficult. Do, do you still have the small one? Oh my god! Do you still have the small one? Yeah, legacy's on his shoulder. Oh, thank God. Uh, you mean legacy? Yeah. I think legacy so. Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. Why is legacy locked? Yeah. Do you still have the big dragon head? Nope. Oh. I... Oh God! I wonder so, who yes. was carrying that dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where that went. I wonder where that went. I don't think Melody was carrying it. We didn't bring it. We left it there. Oh. How are we going to get back in? Pretty sure someone took it. Oh, we'll build another wall for it. It's fine. <laughs> it's full yeah, of new <gasps> Didn't someone take the head to rewrite the personality in another facility? No, we left it. Or, oh, shit, did we? I could have sworn we brought it. Yeah. I think so. I'm I'm sure pretty, we I was it. pretty sure Draco took it with him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he has the bag of holding, doesn't he? I mean... I could get it out. Nah, Daria. I don't know if that's the best idea here. Whip it out. <laughs> you see that the other normals are leaning forward in their seats, sort of just. All of their eyes are just staring at you. They've also like completely forgotten about food. They're just sort of <laughs> listening. But, um, yeah, 
he apparently was a trying into a mass magical power for that as a defense. Mm. He could sense something was coming, but the dragon head wasn't really that specific. Dural as a defense. That does sound odd indeed. Are you yeah. sure that information is reliable? It Being it was from a construct. It may have been confused. That does not sound like Dural. But then again, I didn't know the man. He was an insane mass murderer. No, that we agree. If he was a hero, I think I'd rather be destroyed. Meanwhile, Delaria looks at Telsa and builds up a telepathic <laughs> connection. How long are you going to play this game, Telsa? She can answer without talking out loud. What are you talking about? You know, Lara. She also has this guy's self cost on her, so she looks slightly different. And I wonder who it is. What? I've talked to people. It seems like your family is in distress. Don't you care at all? Everyone here is in distress. Fine then. Just know you can talk to me if there's anything you want to talk about. She'll look up at him and smile. He smiles back and concentrates on the conversation again. Any more questions? I'm sure we would have very like specific questions about like the areas. So yeah, the way we can go back wasn't the guy here too who found that out. Well, has a possible well, way. To Lady Liliana implied yeah. that there may be a way back, but it sounded all very. very yeah, did, didn't she talk about someone who might have a way to bring them back? Yeah, like, her brother. Her brother. Okay, but that's him. not someone who's here. Okay. I yeah. have a question. Is there anyone that goes out into the shadow place and like does things there? You mean the shadow fell? Yes. No. Oh. Shit. Well, the Kalashta pretty much occupy the territory on the border. We know not if they cross over, but it seems unlikely. They seem like they have... They fight like they have a wall at their backs. Uh. Have you noticed any problems with your magical sources here? Well, we've been trying to limit large-scale magical changes in the Feywild. Since we are cut off from the other planes and the ley lines flow slow, we try not to cause any further calamity by using up our last precious resource. Other than that, no particular changes, no. Perhaps a less dire question. Are Leilin's always rainbow? Excuse me? Do ley lines always look like rainbows? Ley lines are not visible to the eye. Oh, shit. It's not like you can just dig them up out of the ground. I like rainbows. I think you should say that, actually. You sure? Like... It, on a scale of 1 to 100, how sure are you? 100. Why? Well, I think you're wrong. 
Ley lines flow through all things. But if a ley line basically got hurt and is leaking magic, would that cause rainbowish energy to escape? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose you'd have to ask the Uniwar for that. Oh fuck, the dragon breathed the same shit too, do you remember? The Uniwar are the ones that... mend our spirit lines, our ley lines, our forests. If anyone knows more about that, it's them. Where are they? They're the grove tenders. I suspect they're all over the forest. In the forest, okay. Hey, Delirium. Yes? Do you remember the bit where the dragon breathed that rainbow fire? And it did the weird things? Mm-hmm. Should you, know you seek how... audience with Vana or anyone... Personally, she he completely ignores you whispering because he doesn't hear. <laughs> you uh, need to visit the heartlands. You'll recognize it, the weird wild, where the trees grow different colors. Oh. Hard as in hardy hard or hard as in hard? And he slams his chest. Okay. All right, there's the rock. Delary, you know how Melody, J Delary, you know how Melody jumped into that well of leyline magic and was like striped and shit. Well, maybe you didn't see, it, but I saw it. <laughs> striped and shit. I was, you know, I was fighting while Melody jumped jumped somewhere, well, so I didn't so really like, see you it. Know, fuck, fuck off! You know what happened? Fuck off! <laughs> fuck off! <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> You know that happened, so you understand what I'm saying, right? I think so. The weird thing that happened to me and Frank also happened when the dragon breathed on us. It was the same weird mutation that happened to Melody when she jumped down the well. What I'm fucking oh, yeah. Know. No, I know what you mean. Mm -hmm. When that... Frank started spitting lava and stuff like that. Yeah, we both had weird things happen. It's, uh... Yeah, anyways. Does that mean that the dragon was breathing corrupted ley line magic? Yeah. Maybe it's just, you know, magic in general. Maybe everything comes from that kind of Can you use, use corrupted ley line magic? No, but maybe I just don't know the spell for that. Hmm... I've learned most of my spells reading a lot. So maybe it's more of a natural magic thing? I don't know. Natural magic meaning what? Like like just intuitive shit? Yeah. So I intuitive because magic. some some people are, you know, born with with it and some people have to learn it. Uh, I think Anyone can learn certain types of magic. Yeah, that's what I mean. Things. That's how I am. I wasn't born with magic. I just learned through reading and studying and stuff like that. Draco, what do you think? Um, it wouldn't surprise me if it was ley line mag. Like, can you remind me what my hypothesis was when we originally found? Stop laughing at me. When we originally found that magic, I know Draco had an idea of what it was. I can't remember what the idea was. When you found the pool, yeah, your theory was that it could be the the manifestation of a ley line just lying there, broken and sort of festering. Right. Because ley lines, obviously, you know, magic flows, and when it doesn't, it sort of pools. And that may have been that. And that's why the guard captain's wrong. <laughs> well, um... Yeah, but he's never seen a bleeding ley line. That doesn't mean he's wrong. It just doesn't mean he has never seen... <laughs> he's wrong. ...broken ley He is wrong, regardless of his circumstances. Well, it seems likely when water flows in a stream, it's clear, but when it's in stagnant in a creek it gets clouded up with algae and other things maybe that's what's happened to the magic 
Right. I feel like <laughs> probably don't jump into those or mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not going to experiment with them anymore. Yeah. Because it might explode. Oh, what? Explode? Don't jump into those. I don't know that what's that doesn't that sound like. It's safe. Uh, well, you see, we So the material them. planes. There's no Mendes fixing your ley lines. I don't think most people in the material plane give a shit about the ley lines or the natural And you can use magic place. like regular. Well, I don't understand the question. Well, <laughs> when first we were faced with the disjunction, our Mendes, the Univar mostly, they closed the ley lines to a closed system, a circle. Whatever flows into the Feywild remains. There are leaks everywhere, but it flows in a circle. However, if we had not mended the ley lines, very soon we'd have been without magic, and oh. magic is life. All, at least that was the hypothesis at the time, may have turned to ash. Right, well, from... Yeah, we can still use magic like usual. From what I've heard from people, from my tribe's people that come from the Feywild, it's different in the material plane just as far as cast and magic goes in general, but... It's the same as it's been since they arrived, I guess. Hmm. I also, need to uh, ask Semida about this. Perhaps he knows more. I'm not too familiar with ley lines. Same. Uh, also, if you see any uh, rainbow light shining through anything, uh, don't touch it. It hurts. I'll make a note of it. And also, you might get weird powers, but just, just don't do it. Don't touch it. It's not worth it. You might end up being striped or some shit. What the weird powers? <laughs> <laughs> bleeding, bleeding molten metal, I think, was another one. Yeah, just don't touch them. Uh, if, if, if the Kalashtar are fighting... Um, on the border, like there's a wall. Uh, maybe whatever is been done to them is originating from the Shadowfell. We've had that theory. It's very possible. But oddly enough, since the Kalashtar changed, invasions from the Shadowfell have pretty much ceased. They haven't shown themselves crossing into the Feywild for a very long time. It used to be our only problem at the border. You can walk in that forest forever and never find the way to the other side. But some people know paths. In a way, it's the perfect place to hide. So that giant mouth demon thing, is that a common occurrence? There's nothing common about fiends, any fiend. Interesting. You innocently munching on pickle. <laughs> Suspicious glance. Let me just make a note of your current sodium levels. <laughs> <laughs> if you have to roll another character because you had too much sodium and you fucking poisoned yourself, I swear to God. I would like to eat 50 pickles. How many pickles would be? I gotta look up how many pickles. How many pickles would be toxic? Well, it's three. Enough, um, probably. I mean, you know, it depends on probably if you also drink the juice and stuff. But 
Oh. How many pickles can kill you? Is I'm one guessing of the it's more pickles. than one jar, to be honest. It's probably like... Oh my god. <laughs> I'd say like 10 jars, you're going to have to you, you probably struggle. I don't think it'll like kill you, but you'll have some like digestion issues and shit. <laughs> okay. How many pickles so are too many? one of the first many. things I looked up is I looked up how many pickles, and the first result was will kill you, and I found a site called Pickles Will Kill You. Nice. And... <laughs> It's kind of funny. Like, it says, for example, nearly all sick people have eaten pickles. The effects are obviously cumulative. 99.9% .9 of all people who die from cancer have eaten pickles. Oh, nice. It's one of those. Everyone who eats bread <laughs> dies. All pickle eaters born between 1890 and, and 1910 have wrinkled skin, have lost most of their teeth, have brittle bones, and failing eyesight. If the ills of eating pickles have not already caused their death. <laughs> Well, I wanted a real answer. I mean, I'm pretty convinced now. I think pickles are going to kill me. How many pickles can you eat before you die? Oh, I found one that's actually relating to sodium. I mean, I'm intrigued. Damn, why can't you eat so much salt? At least a hundred. Yeah, it's probably at least a hundred. Well, well, we're fine then. I've eaten five pickles. Uh, yeah, so I don't think you're in danger. <laughs> Disappointing. I've eaten I mean, five pickles. And... I'll give you like no. diarrhea if you eat an entire <laughs> barrel of pickles. <laughs> <laughs> pickles will make you. What do you mean? Good. If you le eat like a barrel of pickles, <laughs> you're not just gonna walk it off. Why? Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm really good at eating maybe pickles. Just, yeah, maybe it's just not... Oh my gosh, so maybe it's not Yeah, you gotta eat pickles. them with a special technique. What just is that? swallow them. The special <laughs> technique uh, is don't eat pickles. Like, <laughs> yeah, pickles are gross, but also the special technique is just uh, swallow them. Like a snake, just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> full you have a sock? <laughs> please don't do that. Just like, please. I think Rune would murder you in your sleep. Not because like that they guy with the hot dogs. wrong with you, but just because they don't want to deal with you. I like Okay. Uh, mm. back, sorry. I feel like we would ask like general questions also about the Feywild and especially about like places where they know that their people like from their tribe that have like come from the Feywild are from because they wanna like bring back news when they see their people again. If when when they see their people again. <laughs> Did I fucking stutter? <laughs> Did I fucking stutter? Well, you learn that there's a uh, few different areas to the Feywild. <clears throat> You're currently in the Oaklands, which is mostly inhabited by Keris Patra era and whatever vassals they have around them. There's also a deeper jungle, there are casts that reach into the sky that are filled. And you also hear about the autumn forests. And uh, the family that is most prominent there is the De La Dark Anciens. Ooh. It's sort of the breadbasket of the Feywild riches in its harvest so its influence is pretty large you ask about a few of the uh, the names that you can remember off of these tribes mates and uh, yeah you gather some info some of their families may not have been heard from for a while yeah. Some of them are fine. Some of them have kept behind the borders, not been involved in the fighting. But it's a very mixed bag. Right, well, very um, sincerely thank the general for the information and the and um, it does does preface it with when I get back, I'm sure they'll really appreciate being able to hear something. I know. They've made their peace with not ever knowing, but it might bring some closure to some of them. Did, 
Did people get trapped here? Where I don't know how often people would have visited the Feywild. Trapped? How do you mean? Well, some of the people in my tribe that I was asking about, uh, a couple of them uh, had been with us for fucking generations. I mean, one of the oldest people in my tribe is, is an elf that's been with us for around 200 years, but uh, some of them joined up af after the whole split, uh, the whole Godstone disaster split thing where, where all the planes no longer connected. Uh, we found quite a few families and groups of people stranded from other realms, some of them the Feywild, and some left to join cities or try to make their own life, but some stayed with us, and that's why we have so many with us now. So I was just wondering, did people get stuck here as well? Oh, well, some, a few humans a while ago unfortunately since it's been so long many of them have already passed oh, right time flows differently I always forget that what it's always a thing with mortals I suppose wait how how differently does time flow here we haven't had a <laughs> huge amount of stragglers or people that were stranded. Most of our troubles seem to have been our own. I suppose in a way you could have called the Kalashta stranded before whatever happened to them. They are not native here, but there used to be a large tribe of them. Interesting. How did they also, get here? Uh, harmony. Real, real fast harmony. It's oh, been... anyone supposedly gets to the Feywild, I suppose? There are ways through forests and plains. Well, they used to be, I should say. Harmony. It's been 33 years where we're from. Not 80-something. Oh, yeah, by the way, Harmony around three times as fast. <laughs> <laughs> So. Okay, so it's faster in here, not at the... Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. How old are well, you? Well, from my understanding, it can change. Oh, uh, that's not reassuring. What are the... Realistically, what are the chances that we're going to make it back close to our time? Oh, it depends on how much time you spend here. If you return tomorrow... There is a certain slippage of time that happens when you travel. It's again, uh, uh ley line stuff. You might want to ask Semida about that. I've heard stories of people getting lost in the forest, wandering for, for years before they finally plopped out on the Feywild and were picked up. Not so sure about leaving the Feywild. I personally never have. I suppose right. the stronger your guide, the more you can control the slippage of time. Hmm. Well, that's uh, thank you for your candor, I guess. It would be nice to have a chrono mage with us then. Are you sure? Yeah, fully we did, right? <laughs> Honestly, with Melody having the mutation temporal instability, it probably wasn't would have not been a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always knew what time it was, but then suddenly I didn't. Yeah, so um, you knew what time it was, but just didn't it mean right. fuck all it's because not, there was no to sign. lose meaning for you. You know, just what is a second? Sometimes it feels Dang, longer it's than genuine. the whole week. Uh, harmony. 
Yes. How old are you? I am 24. Huh. Check. Surrounded by children. <laughs> That's, uh... Theoretically, the... I had a guy that was good enough to get me through to the Shadowfell and then to here. Would that be pretty good to get back? Mm, well, that's a different story. The Shadowfell and the Feywild are polar opposites. But as such, they are inevitably bound to one another. But what about... From, uh, the There's material. a reason why the Shadowfell wasn't closed in the disjunction. There's a theory that, well, the Feywild and the Shadow Plane are just two sides of the same plane. Harmony, what did you have in mind? Your friend? Well, I mean, if he got me from the material to the Shadowfell, then I, I mean, he could probably get me back to the material from the Shadowfell. Mm. What are the chances of us getting lost, though? Because I... I mean, As you me express hear. that thought, Melody... Harmony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. That was so much Melody talk. God damn it. <laughs> you feel a wave of fear wash over you oh. and you feel like your partner sort of strains against the very idea oh okay he doesn't like that idea don't worry uh oh right. The new girl is weird. <laughs> <laughs> she is so weird and quirky. Oh my god. I read as the only one of the party who is not Said super anything. weird in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> While sniffing, sniffing you. gunpowder. Listen, okay. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I said in his eyes. <laughs> yeah, I know. He just sort of stirs his cup of wine, just uh, sort of tries to laugh it off, but he looks very concerned about everything right now. <laughs> Honestly, relatable. Mm. Uh. Like, no one's inside checked room, so I don't need to tell you what the fuck's going on with them, but... No one's... Nothing's happening. She's fine. Well, yeah, clearly. Uh, I'm gonna look off to the side, and more to myself, like, but wait, I have to go back there for your for your your thing. What if we kill the the mouse guy? That is fifteen passive perception enough to hear her whispering oddly <laughs> next to me. Give me a perception. Ah <laughs> uh, no. And uh, during that harmony, you see your shadow looks sort of thin. Almost oh. frail. Seven. Mm -hmm. oh. It's more opaque than usual. Often when you've turned around, it was just this... Even the one light conditions were sort of... strong. It was this jet black streak of shadow behind you. And now it's just sort of... half there. Oh. I love how no one is confused by this friend stuff that only Delaria knew about so far. Oh no, they're <laughs> well, very confused. That's why there's I asked some I very know. raised eyebrows from <laughs> from Dalaman. Mm -hmm. But you've also yeah. been talking about uh, dragon yeah. hats you've been carrying hey, around. And... No, we have proof of that one. <laughs> I mean, you decided not to whip it out, so who knows? <laughs> no, he doesn't Fuck know. You. Maybe we should. What did you roll, by the way? Seven. Seven, okay. You see like you see Harmony just sort of turn her head and stare at nothing. Are you on something? What? Exactly. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you sure? Does pickles count? What? I'm talking to my friend, don't worry. 
I think I should be very worried. Ah, okay. You fucking staring it's off in okay, the Okay, okay, it's okay, okay. What? It's okay. Don't worry. Uh, I'll decide it's what my, I worry about. It's my you. Don't worry. <laughs> The more you say don't worry, the more I get worried about you. Dol you know? Dolarian leans over to Rune and says, I feel like she might have a connection to some kind of higher being that she's talking to and we can't see or hear. Good for her. Arette leans forward. You know, I've heard of someone like that before. I think it was mostly shell shock, though. It was in the war. He just kept talking to himself. <laughs> uh, I've mean, been in the war, though. That might be something else. The funny thing, he ended up uh, shanking his officer. Yeah. What? Oh, Some that's not very good. So, yeah. Spanking or shanking? Shanking. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not spanking, Alvin. <laughs> Don't make this sexual. <laughs> in the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's a different kind of corporal punishment, isn't it? Uh, God damn. An uh, another question directed to my uh, shadow friend, I guess. Um, oh, should we just like not worry about it now, then? And like maybe do it. You know, a lot of people in my tribe started thinking that their shadows were after them. After the whole. Oh, it's not after me. It's my friend. Ah, I see. Understandable, then. Excuse me. I just... Okay, makes perfect sense now. Thank you. Do you want a pickle? No. Okay. I want a pickle. Okay. <laughs> you do finally <laughs> hear words. It's been a while oh. since he spoke Thanks. to you. And... The voice seems strained, as if just speaking musters a lot of his remaining strength. Can relate. <laughs> and you just hear... Weakened. Do not... Show. And then it's gone again. And my hand tests. Tells her pickle. <laughs> you like? I mean, she's pretty. Oh, you walked over. Okay. Yeah. No, no. I was gonna say make a throw check, but okay. <laughs> yeah. you just just walk over the and... pickle across the table. You could have just thrown it. But then I could just get on the floor, and then that's a wasted pickle. You can't just yeah. waste pickles. Uh, it's not wasted if it's. I annoying. ate one earlier. They're actually not that bad. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? Why? Are you... <laughs> What's up with you guys with pickles? Fucking hell. Okay. This is a wayward effect. I'll give her a pickle. I'll go back to the chair. Look, Rune, you don't like pickles. No, you don't I like don't stew. Like There's so much you don't like. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa, feeling attacked over here. <laughs> Just but yeah, you've spent uh, an hour or two conversing, and one after the other, the nobles at the table excuse themselves and leave the keep or retire to their chambers. Until it's only you left and the food grows cold. The remaining servants in the in the chamber approach you. Um, uh, sirs, uh, madams, your your quarters are prepared. If you if you'd please uh, follow us. Yes, please. Sure. Thanks. Thank you. The servants lead you up another staircase, through a corridor, and up more staircases, until you reach a wing of the keep, several stories up, that is brightly lit along the left side. 
Mm. Along the left Ooh. side, you see out to the rest of the Tana Fort, the houses and the docks. Ow. And along the right are doors. So I move my thing for me. <laughs> Are you okay there? No, oh, my ribs moved. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. Fuck ribs. It's fine. It's Continue on without oh, me. My I'll baby back, die. baby back, baby back. Just, let, just baby, baby, let them remove. <laughs> let them be removed. Back and up, back and up, back and up, back and up. Along the right side of the corridor, the wall is lined with doors. And as you reach the corner where the hallway turns to the right, the servant knocks on the door closest to that corner. And then slightly flushed states, um, should you uh, require them, this room holds amenities. This key wasn't originally built by Elven Hands, that's were rather limited in its luxury. I, I hope you can forgive us for this. I'm gonna take a look over their shoulder to see what's in there. This place looks like a fucking palace, what are you talking about? It's toilets! Okay. Uh, Good to know. Rune looks absolutely toilet? like... Rune looks shocked when they're like, this place isn't very fancy. Here's toilets. See, I told you they're super stuck up. <laughs> the servant steps around the corner into the corridor and uh, he gestures towards the many doors in the rooms beyond. Please uh, occupy them as you see fit. I will remain here for a moment, so if you need anything, please let me know. I'm immediately looking for the most comfortable bed. Well, the the I mean, they're, they're all pretty much the same. Okay. Just... <laughs> oh. Oh. Who goes where? I just wait until everyone has a room and just take the last one. Picking one next to Draco's because I don't trust him to be alone. <laughs> Wow. Oh. I'm gonna go know. next to tell signs. So just put Draco in one and I'll... Draco's not here. I'll fucking hear. A rat immediately like, goes through the door and when he sees the bed, he doesn't even really put his rifle anywhere. Still in his hand, he just <laughs> sort of lets himself fall on the bed and lets out a small groan. And then let's take like a five minute break because I need to go to the bathroom and uh, someone needs to fix their ribs. Mm -hmm. yeah, why is there only one room without a table? No table. Because space. fuck you, that's why. I don't need a table. I have the fucking comfortable, the most comfortable chair in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. And that's why that room's the best. <laughs> Oh my god, what's Legacy doing, though? <laughs> Legacy is Super just chilling secret. with Draco, dude. Oh, that was some time. Super Super okay, spicy. Let's get some water. Legacy is just a pet. Calm down. Hmm. <sighs> Finally, I can be exhaustion free.
Oh, that sucks. Fucking hell. Who needs drugs when you can get the high from being able to breathe oxygen again? Mm. Fair point. No, it's not even bad to get addicted to oxygen. Yeah. It's more just like, you know that rush when... No, I mean, actually, you don't know the rush of reconnecting your ribs and getting that first full breath of oxygen, but who, who needs cocaine, right? Fucking hell. Sounds awesome. It's like the good part of it. I mean... It's, it's like, like, it's like that. you know, <laughs> when you hit yourself in the head with a rock and then you stop and it feels great because you stopped hitting yourself in the head with a rock. <laughs> it is. I like, like, that, I like that. that first pain-free breath is just, ah, oh, fuck. It's like drugs. Ugh. Whoa, I don't know why that happened. That was like a really hard one to fix, too, because they were like right in the middle this time instead of like the bottom where they usually are. Oh, I hate it when those ones move. Fucking hell. Those ones specifically, though. Well, yeah, because when you have the bot, because when the bottom ribs move, I can just like kind of dig my fingers into my side and like physically pull them back into spot. But with like the ones higher up, you just have to use your lungs to push them back into place. <laughs> Ew! Imagine using your lungs. Well, you know, if you can imagine the feeling of your lungs almost brushing against the bones that surround them. Oh yeah, I can for sure imagine that. That's it's not the best to. feeling. Woot. <coughs> yeah, it's like that thing I described where that one sound tastes like the way chalk covered fingers rubbing together feels. Uh-huh. Well, okay. What? Um. <laughs> so there's this one sound, and I don't know what it is. It's like a certain frequency of sound. Taste the way, like, you know, if you, like, coat your fingers How really does thickly in chalk, How does and you, like, rub them that? together. Do you also taste, taste sounds? You cannot oh, only um... see them, you can only also taste them? It's a, it's a certain frequency of sound that, like, hurts your ears. So I think it's more connected to pain, because I can taste pain. But, like... There's yeah, some yeah. people that uh, see or uh, experience sound as different colors. Mm -hmm. I do. I do. I have that. Yeah. The, the, I, that's, that's why I was wondering if she can see sound. Uh, I never knew she also can taste sound. Yeah, I can. Well, it's like, I think it's the fact that it hurts my ears because I know I can taste pain. I can't usually taste what sound. What does this so taste I... like? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. That I can tell you what it looks like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which like, color does it have? It's orange. Orange. Mm. <laughs> nice. Favorite color. Meat color. Well, guess what, beggar? Your voice is also orange. Arm. Oh, your voice. Oh, so your voice is basically just... No. That one is... Clapping's weird. Clapping sometimes has a color, sometimes doesn't. It depends on how like red. I was laughing the, my my fat arms. Um, it's um, it's it's a different shade of orange though. <laughs> Elaine, what does my voice look like right it's, now? It's um, a it's like more blue than purple, and it's like less swirly and more like uh, it's more spiky around the edges and like. It just it moves slower than like it, it usually does. Mm. Probably mm. Mm. Yeah. Monkey, mm. you touch my Well, I can tell you guys that how smooth or rough a person's voice is controls like how spiky like the outside of like the the color burst is. So right now it's a lot more like rough and like spiky around like the outside of the color burst. It looks you sound more like, like a, a man today. <laughs> I, well, I think what's interesting is I didn't realize how much people's accents change the way their voices move. Like the colors move, like when people talk, until like I encountered a bunch of different accents. Hmm. True story. Um, uh, also, I uh, might have to take today's uh, break sometime earlier than usual because I haven't okay. eaten yet because I woke up late because I overslept like an idiot because it's way too hot. Relatable. 
Yeah, Ooh. the uh, the servant played down the luxury of the rooms, but having this, you know, but having spent the nights on the last month on either the roads or huddled under an opaque dome of force, doesn't really get much more kingly. Yeah, Rune's fucking floored by the room. On the soft mattress wrapped in the soft blanket. You fall I asleep. wanted to do a couple Easy. things before yes. that, if possible. First, no, only sleep. Because he starts meditating first before going to sleep, and uh, yeah, before he even does that, he whips out a book, just reads up a spell that he has, yeah. he that he has uh, read a lot of before, but he never was strong enough to cast it, and now he just follows it description and for the first time casts the fourth level spell divination and tries to get in contact with the dreamer the uh, the icon that you place in front of you as you start praying it doesn't even really vanish it sort of goes opaque step by step before it's just not there anymore. And uh, what was the details of divination again? <laughs> Beggar, do you mean transparent? Yes, other Not way. The correct view, other way around. Just, sorry, it grows I less don't... opaque. <laughs> sorry. Until I don't it mean is to transparent leave. and gone. <laughs> sorry. I could ask something about the future with that spell, but I, th this is more of a uh, this is more of a common contact with a god. Yeah, usually, okay. usually I can ask something about the future, but this is more of a uh, just a personal question he just has. Who do you ask, and what do you ask? I want to ask the dreamer, of course, and I want to ask. Of the souls of Robert, Melody, and Frank are residing by the God's side and have reached their realm, and if they are safe. Melody, Frank, Robert. None of these are here. I can feel Frank far off. Its soul in turmoil. It will find its way. So nothing about Robert and Melody. They don't have souls that were for it. <laughs> yeah, that's also what would make him real. sad. Checkmate, religious boy. Souls aren't real. <laughs> well, ask about that. Or do you only have I did. Ha he has a single question. I have a single question, that's so I can't really like For ask a couple one he will need. Another fourth level spell and another thing that costs twenty five gold and stuff like that. Um Wow. My <laughs> Lol. Sorry, I just remembered something else. Not um sorry, I just had a realization. Yeah. But yeah, he Dolarian shivers. Because he he tried that spell a couple times before, but he was never strong enough, so he was kind of surprised that it worked this time. And, uh, yeah, he shivers a bit because he was hoping for all of them being by the god side already. And, uh, yeah, after like half an hour, he just slowly calms down and just, I guess, Three times cast casts animate dead on the bones I'm carrying around. 
again. Oh, no. Room to talk to him, maybe while he's doing this. Yeah, maybe. Your, yeah, I put your skeletons back in your area. <laughs> so just pick whichever ones you I already have them reanimate. Oh, okay. You hear knock on your door. You hear the distinct clattering of bones inside. <laughs> Not even surprised. Just kind oh, of yeah. not surprised. I'm I'm just disappointed. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no, I just I just we're just kind of like yeah. Just wait. He doesn't respond in like a minute. I'll knock again. Yeah. Uh. Yes. And this voice still sounds like it's a bit shaken. Can I come in? Uh. Yes. Sure. I just I'll try to like not open the door a bunch just in case they're in the view of the hallway. I don't want the servant to see. I'll slip in. Do I it. sit in the nice chair by the way. Casting couch. The servant's gone by now. Just in case. You can never be too careful. Right. I see you got your friend back. It's a draining process, but yeah, I'm trying to get them back. You're doing all right after the, well, everything. I do? Well, if you say so. No, are you doing all right? I... I Actually, don't know really. I was, uh, I was just uh, trying to get in contact with the gods, with prayer, and they actually answered me this time. And their souls, they, they haven't reached the realm of the gods yet, and they're just. Saddens me. Hmm. It's interesting. It's my people have a different uh, afterlife belief, I guess. And where I come from, it's a uh, we believe that. I guess the souls is what you kind of have the word for, become the stars that guide us after death. So maybe they're just taking a trip through the sky first. Well, you could consider the sky being a part of the gods' realm. I guess. And how are you doing? Honestly, mm -hmm. I'm terrified. A little bit regretful coming about this trip. Uh maybe really regretful, but, um... We just have to say... protect the others now, even more than before. Don't want to lose anyone else. I agree. I just... Maybe it's a bit selfish, but I'm more worried that I'm never going to make it back. Yeah. So... I made a promise what, to uh, someone. Oh, uh... Which promise? This is supposed to be my last job, you know? Yeah, <laughs> your last job, job? Yeah, I was gonna move back. Uh, spend the rest of my time with my family. Do you think that's alive for you? I mean, if I never return, then yeah. Kind of. <laughs> So what uh, brought you here? Right, something completely different, actually. Well, I mean, I did want to check if you were okay. Also, um, I don't know if I can relate to the whole... My people have been in a giant war of attrition thing, but it seems like a hard pill to swallow. Well, 
Uh, but also, are we all right? Do we have an issue? The two of us? Yeah. No. I don't think so. Do you have an issue with what's going on between me and Telsa? Because sometimes you see really, like... Your face gets kind of scrunched and you seem kind of pissy, <laughs> but I don't know if that's how you look. No, that's nothing about you. I just... I just don't approve of her lifestyle in general. That has nothing to do with you. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with her lifestyle? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like she needs to grow up at some point. In what way specifically? I think in every single way. I mean, is it Perhaps, now I don't mean to offend you, but maybe you're being a bit judgmental. Maybe I, mean, I am. I mean, maybe I don't know her well enough, but she seems to pull her weight and get her work done. She likes to have a bit of fun in between. I mean, doesn't seem childish to like yeah. to enjoy life. That's why I don't say anything to her. Fair enough. Just I don't stop her from doing the things that... Make her happy. I just don't like them personally. Fair enough. Just making sure there is no um issues here. But yeah, as long as you don't don't hurt her and keep her safe, you can you two can do whatever you wanna do. Oh. It's kinda like looks like it's like scrutinizing Delarian for a minute. You know we're just fooling around, right? There's nothing emotional here. No, that's fine with me then. Right. Just making sure there's no problems between us. Because if, you know, there was, I don't want to be trapped in the middle of somewhere I'm unfamiliar with, someone I'm fighting with. No, nope, we're good. Great. Uh, enjoy your friends. Uh, and if you ever want to it will stand guard. Talk about shit. Um, yeah, I'm here. If you need anything, don't get kidnapped at night. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's why these guys are <laughs> gonna stand watch for me. Suddenly surrounded by the boner gang. You just, want just one of them loud. in Draco's room? Would you mind? It would be fine with me. I oh, hope. Tell him, please. It, just let them it, kill just, it, it, it depends. <laughs> it depends on him. Uh, I just, you know, more. he's he's young, but I uh, would rather prefer to hear his opinion about this. Well, I can go ask him. I just don't want to send a skeleton to his room like he has not, not a say in this. All right. I'll go check. I was going to check on him anyway. Uh, be back, shame. I guess. Such Maybe. a shame. Yeah. Knock on Draco's door. Hi. <laughs> hey, can I come in for a second? Uh, sure, give me a second. Guys, um, I can give him a ball. <laughs> yeah, come in. <laughs> what, what, are you, what is he working on? Is there like metal uh, everywhere? He has his armor on. So presumably he put that back on. Are you Relaxed. sure you want to sleep in that? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I was just gonna go to bed. Uh, do you want Delarian a uh, reconstructed as skeletons? You want one? Oh, I. Why would I need a skeleton? <laughs> Safety. To walk straight. Yeah, a hug. We're in a castle. We'll be safe. We the cuddle, fight. buddy. You doing all right, kid? Um, no. Do you want to talk about it? I I don't know how. That's understandable. It's a lot to go through. Are you and Melody close? Ah. Uh. 
kind of. I, I don't know, we knew each other a long time, but we had, I never really got to know her. You know, none of it. I don't know if you'd be blaming yourself, but I know it's a common reaction. But none of it's your fault if you are. And whatever emotions you're feeling or reactions you're having, that's how you're dealing with it, and that's how you're dealing with it. Have you lost anyone before like this? Robert. I was including Robert in this tally. Then no. Right, well, uh, don't want to pester you or annoy you in any way, but, uh, if you need to talk about anything like this or you want someone to just listen to you or something like that, my door's always open. Well, when yeah. I have doors, you understand. Right. Right, I'll go tell Delarian not to send a skeleton in then. Sure. Good night. Night. Um, you ever know poke their head in and just be like, he doesn't want it. Sleeping in his armor though, so... He's actually sleeping on that thing? The, I mean, he put... He's yeah, I, I know he isn't, <laughs> but, but I wasn't sure. I wasn't there. He, she's telling me you were sleeping in the video. <laughs> I'm not sure. He put it on and said that he was going to bed. Might be taking it off. Not my business. If he wants to be sore in the morning, that's his problem. Maybe he just took it on because you knocked and came in. Does he not have anything under the armor? <laughs> That's oh. not, you know, I don't want to ask that question. I'm going to bed. No, let my skeleton be here. Sorry, I picked up the wrong thing. Is there, like, anyone, when I, when I sneak out and take a look, is there anyone in the hallway except mm, for us? Nope. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try to sleep tonight. I uh, guess I'm going to place the skeletons in front of the room. <laughs> Which oh command do you give them? Um, um, Without command, the skeletons will defend themselves yeah, if I know, attacked. that's why I... Um, <laughs> that's not a risk, why would anyone attack? Wake me if anyone approaches one of these three rooms. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Uh, the rooms by the outside, by the way, all have one large window. And I tell them, yeah, not to attack, just to come back if anyone approaches the room. Any of these three rooms. 